Hey guys, how's it going today? So today in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use any old mobile device you have laying around the house and use it as a tracker for VR apps such as VR Chat on a Quest 2 headset or on PC VR. So the first thing you'll need is an app called OOTrack. You can download it on your Android or iOS device, is in any of the App Store or Google Play Store. And for your PC, you will need an app called Slime VR. Once you have the app installed, it should look like this, this green icon right here. Once you click onto it, you'll know if you have the available sensors, if everyone's sensor says it's available. If you have an X or a question mark, then you know that your phone is not currently capable with the app. So if we go into the connect section, it'll ask for an IP number and it'll ask for the port number. The port number will say 6969 and for the IP, that is where we need to bring the computer into play. Once you're on the computer side of things, you can go ahead and right click on the taskbar, pull up the task manager, go to the performance tab, and go to the Wi-Fi section, and you'll need the IPv4. It should be the four digit number, and you'll need to put that into the first section of the OOTrack app on your phone. Once you went ahead and put that IP number into your phone, you can go ahead and click the SlimeVR installer link. I'll leave it in the description. Once it is installed, you can open up the application, and it'll greet you with the setup wizard. Now we'll click let's get set up. Wi-Fi credentials are not needed for phones, they're just for the official Slime VR trackers. Skip Wi-Fi. And then if you did everything right, you should be able to hit connect on your phone and it should show up in Slime VR. It should show up right here, but I already have it paired there. So that's where it goes. I signed all my trackers. I'm ready. Now this is important, make sure you do the setup. So go through it all, it'll ask you to do poses and everything, and once it's found out the length of all the bones that it needs, you can go ahead and close the guide, and then your tracker is fully set up for Slime VR. Now to connect it to your headset. I apologize for the poor quality, but go into Wi-Fi. Click on the Wi-Fi you're connected to. Scroll down. Go to the Advanced tab, and you will need that IP address right there. You put that into Slime VR. To put your headset's IP address into Slime VR, go to settings, go into OSC in VR chat, and network address, put that right into there, and make sure that the port number stays 9000. Sometimes it can change itself, but if it changes itself and you try to go and connect to it, it won't work. Also, trackers. You're going to enable which trackers you want to use. For in my case, I'm just using waste trackers. Now that you've done all that on the Slime VR side, you can switch to the VR chat side. So you'll have to open up your thumb menu, go to options, go to OSC, and enable OSC. This can allow your headset to talk to your computer and vice versa. Now what you can also do is go back into there, enable OSC debug. And this should show all your tracker information so you know if your trackers are communicating to your headset. Now, what you want to do is open up your thumb menu again, and the sit sand button should be replaced by the calibrate full body tracking button. You want to click that, replicate the depose your character's doing, and click both front triggers at the same time. And once you did that, if everything's working correctly, full body tracking should be set up. Enjoy! Some final important notes I'd like to leave is the amount of trackers that you use is important. You may use trackers in increments of 1, 3, 5, 6, or 8. If you plan on having full leg tracking, you will absolutely need 5 trackers. One in your waist, two in your thighs, and two on your feet. You can use three trackers for leg tracking, but you will rather be forced to have Minecraft Steve legs with two trackers on your thighs and one in your waist, or you'll be unable to lift your feet with two trackers on your feet and one on your waist. With one tracker, you can have simple hip tracking, this is what I recommend, but you can use one tracker with chest tracking, However, it doesn't allow your lower body to twist. This tutorial is based on OSC tracking, which mostly targets standalone headsets such as the Quest 2, but also does work with PC VR. Steam VR can be connected to Slime VR server, which is not covered in this tutorial, as unfortunately I do not have the means to show you. Make sure all devices that you're using are on the exact same Wi-Fi network. Something as simple as, for example, your computer being connected to 5G and your phones not being connected to 5G can cause problems. Also make sure that there is no firewall that can block devices communicating on the network. If your Wi-Fi router gets turned off, your IP numbers for your computer and headset may change, causing you to have to enter them again.
You may have to click the reset button in Slime VR and in VR chat often, as IMU tracking is not perfect. Drifting issues can be sped up by low quality or old sensors. Final important note, if you're using an iPhone, make sure that the battery saver is not on and it always has access to location services. Also make sure that the screen does not turn off, as if this happens the background task of OOTrack may be terminated and your trackers will lose connection. You can force your phone to stay awake by going into the settings and disabling or lengthening the auto lock time.